Hi, this is Tom Malloy. I've raised over $25 million for financing movies, produced at the time of this video, 18 films, written 30 plus screenplays, options sold or made into movies, 26 of those screenplays, and I've starred in a bunch of movies. So I'm an encyclopedia on filmmaking. Today we're talking about a filmmaking internship. And what I mean by that is really a PA and a production assistant where you're going to be working on a film. Now, I had heard something on the on the film, not the last film I did, but the film before that, that PAs were getting harder to come by because they kind of expected a lot of payment, you know? And what I thought, I thought that was so strange that I heard that. And I don't know if it's something going on in colleges or film schools or something like that where these professors that have never made a film in their lives or made a film 20 years ago are saying, you got to demand a high salary. And I don't get that at all because to me, and I know at least when I started uh, getting into filmmaking, I would have done anything. I would have worked, I would have paid them to be on set, you know? And I think that's the attitude that filmmakers, you know, that are looking to get into that field need to have. Now, I don't mean the attitude of, I pay you. I mean, the attitude of whatever the fee is, Take it so that you can learn. That's invaluable experience. And I got it. If you're actually making some money, um, I've seen films years ago that were free PAs that, um, and they still do it to some extent. You know, some colleges and things like that will do it for college credit and, uh, you know, so that the PA will be on set for that reason. But, you know, again, staying away from that nasty rumor that PAs are now demanding these exorbitant salaries to work on film if they've had no experience that truly doesn't make any sense. But so for the purposes of this video, you, I want you to, you're, you're thinking, okay, I want to get a filmmaking internship. How do I become a PA? Well, one of the things you can do is reach out to the film commissions in whatever city that you're in or whatever state that you're in. You can find the film commission website just by doing a, search, a simple Google and find out what productions get are going on and get in tight with the film commissioner, which is the person from that state or that city that is representative of the, the, the filmmaking that's going on within that state, right? Each state has its own film commissioner. So if you can get in tight with that person, you can find out, hey, what productions are going on? Then maybe that person makes a referral for you and you get involved with the production or they'll give you the, the email contact, the phone number contact and ask if they need PAs and truly be ready to help. And when you get on set, the key is to listen and observe. Don't be making comments. Don't be offering advice, God forbid, or anything like that. This is your first movie. You should just be taking everything in. You should be a sponge. And the more you do that, uh, you'll get to know more and more about filmmaking and truly an invaluable experience. While you're here, I want to tell you a little bit about the Filmmaking Stuff HQ membership. This membership has every video course that you need from film funding to film production to sales and distribution. It follows a path from video to video to get you from that idea in your head to raising the money to shooting it and then going out there and selling it and turning it all around and making another one. This is the membership that you've been looking for to get you to your dreams. If you're interested, all you have to do is click on the link below to check it out. Yeah.